Hi, how you doing? My name is Sean Hogan, and I'm the One Hand Piano Man. And this is my story. On January 30th, 2017, while in the United States Army, I was conducting physical readiness training and running during PT. What seemed like a normal PT day ended in a major tragedy. While running, I was struck by a Dodge Ram truck tra traveling at a speed of 60 miles an hour. I don't remember much of the accident, but my wife tells me that I called her on the phone and told her that I was discombobulated and didn't know where I was. Shortly thereafter, all I can remember is my arm dangling for 13 hours in the emergency room in the hospital bed. What I learned was after my surgery that had broken my humerus bone, and that bone rested on the radial and ulnar nerve in my hand. Because of that, I've lost the ability to use my hand, my elbow, my arm and my shoulder on a normal basis. For 17 months, my arm, my hand was like this. I was stuck at 90 degrees and my hand could not open up. Because of the inability to use my hand and my arm, it provided several contractures, providing limitations with my hand, my arm and my fingers. As you see in the videos, I play with a prosthetic glove that is normally given to stroke victims. This is it right here. As you can see, these elastics pull back my fingers to be able to use it more functionally. Open a bottle of water would be a great example. And as you can see in my videos, play the piano. While I play, I only used my thumb primarily and my pinky. My three fingers in the middle only work in unison and I can't stretch them apart. I don't normally do this, but at this time I'm going to take off my glove and show you what my hand looks like on a regular basis. The best way I can describe it is that it's frozen. It doesn't move properly. I can't lift it up. As you can see, the fingers only work in unison from surgery that I had, where they transferred three nerves inside my arm and my hand. My thumb doesn't lift up like normally. And so it makes it very challenging to live on a regular basis. This glove, I'm very thankful for. It allows me to be able to play and live more functionally on a regular basis. One of the other things that I struggle with is sleep. I don't sleep very good, I don't sleep very often. But one of the tools that I use was listening to music on YouTube. In the middle of the night, I discovered an artist by the name of John Michael Ogletree. His story, if you've not heard it, is very inspirational in why I play today. I started listening to him on a regular basis. His covers are beautiful. They're emotional. You can tell that he really gets into the play. And it's helped me to sleep better. But one of the things that I'm more grateful for is the fact that he's brought me back into playing the piano again. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. If you've not seen his play, I will leave his channel in the description so you can enjoy all the wonderful music that he produces. Another pianist that I follow on YouTube is Wee Fung from Music Law. We actually collaborated about a month ago and someone that I also enjoy listening to. These pianos have had an impact on my life and provided inspiration just to keep going. I love the piano. I struggle with emotions. The piano is trying to help me get those emotions out. I'm trying so hard and so desperately to put it in my music. Some have been better than the others, depending on how I feel that day. But one of the things that I really enjoy doing is just simply just playing, figuring out songs, completing the songs, and enjoying the end result when it's completed. Thank you all for all of your support. It means so much to me. All the likes, all the subscriptions, all the positive comments, the prayers, reaching out. I can't tell you how appreciative I am to have you in my life, the impact that you've had on it, and where I want to keep going. So for me to you, this is my story. But more importantly, thank you for being a part of it.